In this video, we're going to look at the match and the index formulas in spreadsheets. Now I'm using Google Sheets here, but the same thing applies to Microsoft Excel, and you've got similar formulas within Apple Numbers as well. So the way I'm going to apply this is by creating a second-hand car company. So what I've done is I've created a database here of several different cars. Now obviously this is a small database so you can actually populate this further, but I've got like 12 different cars here with their year, price, color and mileage. It's unrealistic, I know, but it's for the purpose of this, it's going to show you how to use these two formulas. So let's go back to our data sheet. So the first thing we want to do is start populating this. So when a buyer comes in, we want to put the buyer's name in here. So let's put my name in and then their email address. So let's put my email address in here. And then we're going to look at the car purchased. Now, what we don't want to do is for the user to actually type in the name of the car because then we are prone to spelling mistakes and then the match will not happen correctly. We're going to use data validation here, but before we do so, what we want to do is go to our cars. We want to sort these in alphabetical order. So when we click on the drop down list, it's easy to actually find the car that we're looking for. We're going to select the whole of this spreadsheet. Now we can do it like this, or I can select column A. This would be better. Shift, press the shift key, press column E, and now we've selected everything. We can go up to data, sort range. Now our data, has a header row, which is our title row here. So we want to tick that. We want to sort by model of the car, okay? We get a choice here if we want to. We could add another column if we want to, but because this column is unique and each of the names are unique, we don't really need to do that. But if it wasn't unique and we had two Ford Fiestas here, we can maybe sort another column by the year, for example. So let's sort that. And now we have all of these in the correct alphabetical order. So let's go back to our data sheet. So let's click in the cell and go up to data, data validation. Now the cell that we're looking at is this particular cell. Now we want a list, but we want a list from a range and then we're going to click in the range here. Now if we click on this little button here, select data range, that's going to bring up this window. So now what we can do is just select this range. Now we want column A. So we're going to select all of the cars here, okay, in column A. So that's A2 to A13. Now, obviously, as you expand this, you would have to change this to reflect the different data range. So let's click OK. Now, show drop down list in a cell, which we want to do. On invalid input, do we want to show a warning or do we want to reject it? Well, we don't want to show a warning. We want to reject it because we need that data to be exactly the same. So let's put the reject input there. Appearance, show validation, text help. So here we can say, please select the car from the list. And then click save. Now, when we go back to our data sheet here, now we've got this little drop down menu. It says, please select the car from the data list. We can select it and then we can choose our car. Once we've selected this car, we want to pull in the date purchased, year, price, color for that particular car. Now that's when we start to use our match formula. Now, when I write the match formula, I usually use match first because I want to write this. I always write my formulas in stages. So we're going to use the match first. So let's type match. All right, so now the great thing about Google Sheets, it, once you type the brackets, it will give you some information of what you need. So we want the search key first. Now we're searching for Ford Fiesta, okay? Then we type comma. What is the next thing we need? Well, what are we searching for? What range are we searching for? Well, we're actually searching the range from the cars of column A. And then the search type, in the manner in which to search, whether we want to search alphabetically ascending or descending. Basically, that's what that means. Now, I would put a zero here. I'm gonna put a zero in there, okay? Now what we're going to do is press return. 
Now, it's telling us now that the number six has appeared. So that is indicating row six is where the Ford Fiesta is. So let's go back to the cars and check that. So row six, and there it is, the Ford Fiesta. But we don't want the number six to appear. We want the information that's in these columns to appear. So let's go back to the data sheet. Now this is where we use the index formula. So we're gonna type in front of the match, index bracket. Now, what is the reference? The reference is the array of cells to be offset into. That basically means what is the value that we want that's going to appear in here. Now, we want from the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this and then do Command C and then put that in here and then write comma. But I'm going to change the A to B. Now, I'll show you why in a second. If we go type B, now in our cars, the column B is the year. Now that's what we want. We want the year here. So, so that has pulled in the correct year. Now I made a mistake here. That actually should be in this column here. So I'm just going to take this with the hand and pull that over like that. Let's put date purchased in here. What we've done, we've got the year from the Ford Fiesta. Now, if we go back to the cars, we can see it is definitely 2010, but we also want price, the color, and the mileage as well. So to do that, all we're gonna do is copy this across. Now, what's gonna happen is we're going to get a null and void value here. So what it's actually doing, it's pulling in, if you look here, it's changing the value of the cells. If you look over the here, on this section here, as we move through, it changes the value of the cells. So let's delete those. And in here, what we want to do, we want to put a dollar in front of the C. And we also want to put a dollar in front of the A and the A here. Now, what that means is that it's always going to take column A. It's always going to take column C. It will change the two and it will change the B here, but we don't want it to change the, the C because that is the Ford Fiesta here. And we don't want it to change the A, which is the list of cars here. We don't want that to change. So now we can copy it across to, to price, color, a mileage, and there we can see our values have changed. Now, when we add a new one, so let's put in Peter Curly, I'll use the same email address, and we want to copy these cells down now. So let's copy these cells down and change this to the Ford Galaxy. Now, watch what happens. The Ford Galaxy is year 2015, price 17,000, white and 20,000. If we go to our Ford Galaxy here, we can see that has matched all of those values. So that's how we can take some data from a database of values here and then create our purchase spreadsheet from the data using the match and the index formulas. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.